Hello, my name is Misha Emanovsky and I am the associate principal horn player of the Sophilharmonic Orchestra. In today's videos, we will talk about audition and preparation. Auditions are very stressful for every musician. Most musicians have failed many auditions before they succeeded in winning a job. We have hagwons or learning institutes in Korea that teach you how to pass an interview for all kinds of professions. In these videos, it will be like an intensive course to prepare for your audition so you can succeed or do better than you did last time. The first excerpt you just heard was Ein Heldenleben by Richard Strauss. This excerpt is one of the most overwhelming pieces I've ever played. When I was a high school student, I couldn't imagine that it was even possible to play. But if we divide the excerpts in key areas, we can find a way to practice this excerpt efficiently. Some of the most difficult spots are the opening bar, the 16 note runs, the dotted rhythms, and the high B flat. So, what can we do for each of these spots? For the opening B flat, please think of not setting your embouchure too low. It will make the slur upwards very difficult. Also, Try not to overblow the beginning. Number one, we are doubled with violas and cellos. Also, the second horn in orchestra would double the first six notes. So practice this part very slowly. Make sure that the sound is even throughout the registers. Before I start playing, I think about the triplet rhythm. So in my mind, I think da 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 um, da 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 da. Now, in the third bar, we have the first sixteenth note run. I like to practice them separately from each other and play with varied rhythms. <laughs> So an exercise like this will help you make sure that the slurs are clean. This will be the last beat of bar number two. So the rhythm here is ta 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 ta. It shouldn't be played like da da da, which makes it sound like a triplet. The final large obstacle is the high B flat. You need to take a very big breath and play with a fast and concentrated air stream. Also, think about your tongue position. If it's high enough, it's easier to play with that fast air you need. A couple of other things you should notice when you play this excerpt are the accents and the crescendos that are in there. Audition committee will want to hear you play things that are on the page. However, when you play in the orchestra, I think you can relax a little bit and make sure the cellos and violas are carrying the melody more than you dominating it.
second excerpt you just heard is Tchaikovsky's Symphony No. 5. It is probably the most played excerpt you might expect in an audition. This is your chance to show how you make beautiful music, even without the accompaniment of the orchestra. Playing it at the audition is quite difficult because you do not have anybody backing you. Make sure that your phrasing, tone quality, dynamics and intonation make you sound as beautiful as possible. As you look at the part, you will notice a lot of tempo changes, crescendos and decrescendos. Try to think of the crescendos as not just change in volume, but also an increase in intensity and tension. In the opening three notes, try to lead to the downbeat of the first full bar. For me personally, the most difficult spots are around the downward slurs. The bottom note tends to be very high, so make sure to push your intonation a little bit lower. As we get tired in the excerpt, the likelihood of missed note increases. Make sure to keep blowing a lot of air and use your healthy support. In the actual audition, we should follow the marked dynamics and tempo changes. In an orchestra, you can feel more free to play your own interpretation. So notice every accelerando, every crescendo and decrescendo in the part. Do your best to show your musicality in this piece. The third excerpt was Shostakovich's Symphony No. 5. What makes this excerpt very difficult for any high horn player is the ability to make sound even throughout all the registers. The tempo marking is quite different from reality. The first recording of the symphony by Mravinsky is much faster than the marked 92. In the audition, you would probably want to play this excerpt just a bit slower so the audition committee can hear your great sound. Again, do not try to overblow the beginning. In auditions for Sofa Harmonic, we have heard many times where the opening is quite loud, but as the excerpt goes along, people have a hard time sustaining the same volume. We have had quite a few cases where people prepared the wrong ending and they played the third or fourth horn part. The first and second goes to the high B flat. Before you start playing this excerpt, please hear the piano part rhythm in your ear. It goes ta ta ta, pa pa pum, pa pa pum. This will help you establish the tempo. While you're playing, try to keep the rhythm going. It's very difficult to not lose your pulse. If you take breaths that are very long, it tends to interrupt this pulse. 
to make a noticeable accelerando and drop the mezzo piano where it's marked. Continue in the mezzo piano until the next part. In the final crescendo, please wait. Do not try the crescendo too early. The final point is airspeed shouldn't be too fast for the low notes. Your lips should be vibrating easily and think of the kind of a vowel sound that you're trying to make. Do not try to play ta 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 more do do do. This will help you play nice and round low notes. This was Beethoven's Symphony No. 7, a very famous excerpt that I hear played in the schools all the time. Before you start practicing this excerpt, and when you receive the list from the orchestra, make sure you're starting at the precise bar that they are asking for. In our auditions, we have had many times where people started too early or too late and also ended at a different place that we asked for. Sometimes people will be requiring you to start on the high B natural. If the orchestra does not specify where to start, be prepared to play from pretty much anywhere. People think this excerpt is very difficult because of the high notes, but surprisingly, the rhythm can give people difficult time as well. I recommend that you start playing this excerpt an octave lower to get the correct rhythm. Set up your metronome to fit the rhythm pattern that's on the page, like in the video you're going to see. In the introduction, the rhythm is quite short and with sforzandos. Please play tam tadam, a short rhythm, short version of this rhythm, and ta tadam after the fermata. For me personally, as the excerpt goes along, the last few high Bs are the most difficult. Make sure you prepare your support. Your air is fast enough to get there. Some people even use trick fingering. For the E natural, they would play first and second valve. So the slur to the high B on the second valve is easier. Do not try to play as loud as possible in the audition. Your intonation and quality of sound will be suffering. Playing this excerpt over and over in the practice room is not going to give you the results you need and want. Please make sure to work on individual bars that give you the most trouble. The final excerpt was Strauss Till Eulenspiegel. It is a very fun piece to perform. I like to play the opening as if you're sneaking in. Till Eulenspiegel was a jokester, and this should come across in the excerpt. You start a bit timid, but as you go along, you get more bold and convincing. The last three notes of the first part should set up the tempo for the second part, and the tempo should not change anymore after that. 
I think practicing this excerpt subdivided is very important because the rhythm is quite tricky. I like to play the exercise like this. Quite often we hear the re sharp played as if it's only two eight notes long, not three eight notes long. For me personally, the last three notes, the low G and C specifically, are quite difficult because of the fast shift from the top to the bottom of the register. I like to start from the back and play only G and C, C, G and C, etc. You're trying to find the middle of each note where it's most resonant and full and unwavering. When you're preparing these excerpts for the audition, please make sure that these are the only excerpts the audition committee wants to hear. Each of these pieces has other places that are quite difficult and challenging. Do not prepare only the opening of Till Olenspiegel, for example, if you are expected to know the entire part. Make sure you listen to recordings so you know where the most difficult parts are. Good luck in your preparation on these particular excerpts.